Do you like fish sticks, guys? Yes, me lord. What is it? Off I go then. More work. So I'm in a human versus orc. He's not supposed to know that I am human. What is it? So uh, the point of the game will be to do a strat that abuses the certainty of him, uh, the uncertainty principle. He doesn't know what race I am. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to attack faster than ever. I'm going to skip barracks. Let's talk about what Orc would normally do. Orc would normally go for Blade Master with against human, scout early, uh, but also make provisions to expand. Ah, uh, sorry, Orc will make provisions to creep. He will scout. He must because I'm random. He doesn't know what I am, but he has to be able to creep in case I'm undead or Orc. Or night elf, whatever. Uh, it's only against human that you generally want to non-stop follow the archmage and uh, prevent him from creeping as much as you can. You won't succeed entirely, but you want to limit his creeping. And so he doesn't know my race, and therefore he doesn't know if he should creep or harass. So he must scout. And because he scouts, he sends a peon, which is the altar peon, across the map. It should arrive in about 10 to 15 seconds. And that scouting will cost him lumber, which will delay his tech, which will improve my tech's tech speed compared to his. Here he is. We'll also kill that peon, which will hurt his lumber income even more. So he did scout, he did harass. As he must against human. But his tech will not be fast. See, he didn't even tech yet. I'm 30% of the way done. He does uh, micro really well. He has two more wind walks. I have to make uh, Altar Hero because I don't have enough 
um, resources. If he had speed scroll, he could probably kill me. And now, of course, the quintessential towers. to cancel his buildings yet in fact we can do it with our casters I don't know why he keeps dropping here. Yeah? Oh, he's full. Okay. Every name is busy. For you, dude. Now, in order for you to understand the uh, degree to which the random human part contributed to me being able to pull this strategy, 
Man, that was freaking awesome, just perfect. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, every name is busy. Happy to deliver. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. So, just to show again. I'm random. He doesn't know, he must scat, right? Well, just look at his lumber. Pretty standard opener. Burrow was a little late. Shop normal timing. Um, you know, he makes the extra peon to scout. His lumber is far away from teching, and of course, I'm already teching, right? So it's gonna be much faster. But because he loses the peon, he also has to make another one. He's at 1920, he must go to 20. He's not doing it yet. In fact, he's not doing it at all. He loses the peon and accepts its loss. Now, because he's microing really well, that was actually his strongest suit. Right now he can tech. Let's see how many seconds late he is. I am doing silly things with Archmage. I creep the to level 2 with Water Ellie. That's nice, I guess. I do take a lot of damage. But his priority should be to have good lumber income and to tech. He forgot to remake the peon and he didn't tech yet. He's 3, 4, 5, 5 seconds late. It's not much, but when you consider that one peon takes 10 seconds, and normally sometimes you don't want to wait for 10 seconds, you can understand that 5 seconds being half of 10 is half as bad as being 10 seconds late. Now we look at the rest of his lumber mining. Makes the burrow. He did put some peons in. He's not really out of lumber. He can make the second hero. He can make this uh, two buildings. But what he can't get also is berserker strength. So his grunts are a little weak. So he doesn't have berserker strength. His grunts don't have 800 HP and damage. Yeah, it was impossible for him to hold. Now, one more cool thing that I want to add. Every name is busy. When you play against this human style as orc, which is you. possible. I usually lurk, 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 but I should give you something for all your work. work. <laughs> Thank you very much, but I like this that. And I enjoy the resumption of your lurking. Uh, one more thing. If you know you're facing this, Which is possible on Ancient Isles Greetings, and on friend. Last Refuge and sometimes Echo. You would go Farseer. Because I didn't make Tower and I didn't make Barracks. So if you go Farseer, you instant win. But you would never go Farseer against Random. So that was the second part where I could be fully confident that I don't even have to make the Tower. Which helped shave off some costs, which improved the rush. What if he did not scout and he just starts to creep or to scout with his BM? So if he doesn't scout, first of all I will notice the peon never gets to my base. And then I can just creep to level 1.9 with Archmage, Militia and Water Ellie without leaving. I get to 1.9, later on I creep to 131 with Militia, I get level 2 and then I will non-stop spam Water Ellies to go into his base. To try and harass. What it does mean is that he will be level 2 blade master and from the water elementals he will get level 2, 2.5, maybe if he does very well even 2.7. He will also have a uh, healthier economy but uh, he will be, uh, I will be a little bit higher health as well, because higher health and mana because I get my Archmage 2 for free without footmen. 
And what that means is that I can spam more water alleys than I could do this game. That means there is a burden on me. I must do more economic damage in the follow-up than I did this game. He did it to himself this time, so I don't need to do much. If he didn't scout, went greedy, I would have to be more aggressive to make up for the deficit. But I also wouldn't have lost those two peasants. And that means I would have had more lumber and I would be hiring a beastmaster, not a blood mage. And that means more cancels on the tech. Would love to see a doom guard later on if possible. Love your stream less than three. <laughs> I'm sure everyone would too. Thank you very much. Uh, because I wouldn't lose those two peasants to him harassing. Uh, be I would have more lumber. I could immediately hire Beastmaster and cancel his tier 2 buildings without actually going all in yet. I would just do a lot of cancels on his tier 2 and then I could do a delayed timing. Not as fast because he will only have grunts. He will be blade level 3, he will have shadow hunter, but he will never have casters uh, or raiders and that means I should come with like 10 casters. I will have 10 casters when he has no units. And I will upgrade quick invisibility because blade shadow, blade three and shadow can kill a hero to try and stop the rush. So I would get invisibility early. So if he didn't scout, a lot of things would have changed. I would have done a lot of things differently, but I still think it would work. I thank you. The ends justify the means. Amen. 